Hello viewers, this is Elimu TV, a station where you are to go to watch and learn. Welcome to our history class and your teacher is Rajab Michira. On our history class today, we are going to look at development of agriculture. And also, remember in the last lesson, we did discuss on the earliest crops and also the earliest animals man to domesticate. We gave a few of them, for example, a dog a cow, a goat, a sheep, and in crops we gave like wheat, we had millet, millet, sorghum, barley, rice, and maize. Now in today's class, we'll get to early agriculture in Mesopotamia. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, by the end of the lesson, I expect that we are able to give some of the factors that facilitated early agriculture in Egypt, sorry, in Mesopotamia, not Egypt. We are looking at Mesopotamia, what are some of these reasons for the success of early agriculture in Mesopotamia? And also, we get to name some of the crops that were grown in Mesopotamia. Now, straight to today's uh, discussion, what are some of these early agriculture, or rather, what are some of these factors that facilitated early agriculture in Mesopotamia? But again, we must get to know what Mesopotamia is. Where was it found? Then again, one thing we, we get to realize is that Mesopotamia was popularly known as the land between two rivers. And what were these two rivers? It was the river Tigris and river Euphrates. These were the two rivers that Mesopotamia lied between, lied between. Now, the food production began here. So this is where we got food production. This is where food production started. So it began in Mesopotamia. And what are some of these reasons that made uh domestica domestication or production of of of, uh, of crops successful in mesopotamia one we have got region the region had indigenous crops for example bali we didn't only have bali but we, again we get to look at what are some of these indigenous crops that we had in mesopotamia and also the existed fertile soils right and we all know that now that mesopotamia was known popularly known as the the land between the two rivers that is the river Tigris and river Euphrates. Now, see, so there are seasons when these rivers could uh, offer flood, right? They could flood, and when always they flood, there is this fertile soil that is pushed into the farms. The silt we call it silt, right? That is an agriculture term. Silt, silt is very fertile, right? Now these are the fertile soils that facilitated, or rather that uh, that also made it possible to domesticate or to grow uh, crops in Mesopotamia. And also not forgetting that, the heavy rains experience it provided enough water for irrigation. Good, right? You know, whenever they have got rain, we don't have a problem with the crops, right? So there was enough, for, uh, enough rain for irrigation. And our class, can we get to what are some of these indigenous crops? For example, we have got one barley. Right? We won't talk much on Bali because we had looked at Bali as a, as, as a crop earlier, uh, earlier before. That is Bali. You can get to see that for those people who don't know Bali. And, and, and I told you earlier that don't confuse between Bali and, and, and wheat. Right? Don't confuse Bali and wheat. Then also now look there, we have got another, another, another crop. That is wheat and onions. First let us get to look at onions. Good. If you don't know onions, those are the onions that were first domesticated or grown in Mesopotamia, the land between River Tigris and Euphrates. Right, we are pushing on well. Look at that, we have got uh, wheat, right? And as I told you earlier, don't confuse between wheat and onions. Now, we also had vines and olives. Then you might be surprised, what are these vines? What are these olives, right? Vine olives, there they are, right? olives and, uh, and and vine olives are one of the indigenous crops that we had in mesopotamia not forgetting we had grapes right grapes are very common right these are the grapes and they were very very nutritious the grapes from uh, dead palms were very nutritious and also we had the melons and cucumbers these are some of the of the fruits that you people are very aware of right i know a, a number of people love cucumbers right those are the melons, and the melons are also nutritious and sweet also. Then look at the cucumbers. There they are. Now, class, we have just looked at some of the indigenous crops that were grown in Mesopotamia. Now, for our assignment, can we get 
to state some of the crops that were domesticated in Mesopotamia, right? For our reference class, let us get to use the evolving world, history and government, book one, the U University Oxford Press. And as always, this is a Limu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Contact us via our contact address, our SMS, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and let us keep in touch, Elimu TV, where we get to watch and learn.